Good morning. This is the first like day in my life, one day in my life since I graduated from uni. It feels weird. <laughs> Being done with studying, when studying has been part of your identity, and what you do, like what you identify yourself as for 16 years, is really scary. And it's like, what do I say now if people ask me like what I do? I've just been trying to find out what to do with the rest of my life for the past three months and I think this is something that happens to a lot of graduates where either you're going to work but you don't know if the work is for you and you want to switch it up or you don't have a job and you end up in this spiral where you're just figuring out what you want to do, which direction you want to go in. I've been very fortunate to have social media as my job so I've been able to kind of keep that as my income while I try to figure out what I want to do. I just realized, sitting on my sofa, editing this, that I didn't introduce myself. So, hi, I'm Madi. I live in London, but I'm originally from Norway, and I just finished my Bachelor in Management. I'm on a year of experimentation. I called it this, I literally labeled it like this, and the point of a year of experimentation is I'm going to try out everything I've always wanted to do. And that's what I want to share in this Graduate Diary series. I want to share everything that I'm going through, experimenting with, trying to figure out where I want to go in my life. And I'm taking you along. In this video, we're going to do two days of me figuring out what to do and trying different things. And I'm really excited to take you on this journey. So I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Before I get into what I'm going to do for the next two days, I kind of want to set the scene of what you're going to expect in this series and what I've done so far. So I just took part in the documentary. I auditioned for it and I got the part and I said yes because I wanted to try going into more of that like film documentary direction I don't want to be an actor but something in like that serious film video realm then I've also applied to a master's and a scholarship which I ended up not getting so I'm in this weird limbo now where I'm like trying to figure out whether a master is worth it if I'm paying like 30k by myself currently I'm like I don't think it's worth it but I'm still like trying to figure it out. I signed up for a design school for a week, so I'm gonna do a week long course, which I'm so excited for. Always dreamt about going to design school, but I ended up going the more type A type route, where it's like management, finance, economics and stuff. And then next to all of that, I've been doing social media full time. I've been really motivated to try to like expand the business and create like a business out of my social media in a much bigger way than I've done in the past and that's exactly what I'm going to try and show you guys in this graduate video so I've made some really fun decisions lately I'm hiring an assistant or I actually call it more like a content helper almost I had interviews yesterday it was so much fun and also so weird to be in the opposite seat of interviewing when I was literally like being interviewed like just a few months ago so really weird but really fun so many lovely candidates that I got to talk to yesterday and then I've decided to get a co-working space and today I'm gonna take you there for the first time I'm so excited to see it um, I literally cannot wait. Dying to go to the office for the first time, so we're gonna see it for the first time together today. I'm gonna have my breakfast, and let's get into this video. The weather today is just unbelievable. I'm so happy about my little walk to the office. It wasn't actually intentional to choose a spot where I literally could not take public transport to. I mean, I could, but it would take me longer than to walk, which is why I'm walking. And I know the area quite well because I used to live quite close in first year. But then when I put it in on City Mapper, I realized that it literally takes me longer to take public transport there. Having gone to uni in London for three years, like I got so used to walking everywhere all the time. Um, then like working from home, obviously you don't walk as much, so I've been missing it. So I'm actually very happy that I can have my little morning walks, the afternoon walks now. I definitely 
forgot how busy London can get, especially central London when it's lunch hour. Also, I met a subscriber in the queue, which was so cute. We chatted for a bit, so the queue went by super quickly, but I was definitely not eating in that place because it was so busy, so chaotic. So I'm going back to the office space and trying to find a better place to sit. When I tell you I'm obsessed with this, so obsessed. I have this like every third day and I know raw salmon can be quite bad for you so I like keep that in mind but the salmon and cottage cheese or cream cheese bagel it's just <laughs> So quick overall first impressions of the whole working space. Really bright, I love that. And it actually reminds me a lot of the co-studying space in my uni. I don't know, like it feels kind of like a market uni, but like everyone's working, if that makes sense. Some people definitely prefer more of that like uptight office type feel where you have your desk, you have your laptop. For me personally, sure, I could probably have my own office and be just fine, but I actually do like that chill vibe where I can switch around chairs, I can move to the sofa, I can go. It was probably a little bit more chill than I was expecting. I was expecting like more tables and chairs, there's a lot of sofas around but like my first three hours of working here I got so much done and I felt so much more productive than I do at home It's just so hard to get yourself motivated at home compared to when you're at a space where everyone is working around you and not a cafe but like a workspace like you, I literally paid money for this It is very motivating Yeah, I feel very good which was like my main main task that we need to do today holding a presentation for students tomorrow about being a full-time content creator which is what I'm doing right now hopefully they get some value out of it so I'm spending the next hour I think just editing some TikToks that I want to post it off this week and yeah editing surprisingly takes a lot of time and again like it's another thing that it's so hard to motivate myself to do when I work from home but now I just feel like I'm just on such a roll a bit earlier than I was originally planning because I have to do a voiceover and I obviously can't do that like in an actual office. I'm going to go home and do that. But yeah, I'd say very successful day. I'm very excited and obviously like this beautiful autumn walk home just makes it even better. I just got home, I just changed because I'm going to an event at the Google office for YouTube Shorts. One of the best things about doing like social media full time and not studying is that I get to attend all these events that I like, literally wouldn't have been able to do if it hadn't been for doing social media full time. But it's really fun, I'm so excited to go to the Google office. We're gonna get dressed. I was thinking like it's gonna be very cute today. So we're doing like this wool, this headband, blue jeans. I was thinking we could do like my classic blazer. For shoes, we're doing some sneakers. These are like my formal sneakers. And for my bag, I'm doing this coach one that I bought for myself when I graduated because it's treat yourself. Very off topic, but it's insanely warm today. I think it's 20 degrees right now. I'm wearing wool. I was not expecting this weather in like the end of October, but anyway, I'm here. Guys, we just finished the little show. I'm here with some fellow creators. This is elementary. And this is Yeah, so go follow them and now we're gonna have some food. Yesterday was crazy, really, really fun. Today is gonna be a more calm day. We're gonna have a content day today. I'm gonna to get ready while I talk you through what a content day is. So a content day is essentially a day where I try to batch film a lot of stuff. I find it easier, get more work done this way. Instead of going back and forth, setting up the camera, I can do like four TikToks in one day. Batch content making is a very common thing in like the content creator world. I don't know if it's 
famous outside of it, but it's definitely a rule that a lot of people play by to make it more efficient to create content. So we're gonna film a few TikToks today. I'm also gonna do some voiceovers. I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do while my hair dries. I'm gonna do some voiceovers for two TikToks that I haven't done voiceovers for. And then um, I'll edit them, I'll write the manuscript if it's a voiceover, and then I'll put them into drafts so I don't have to post them all today, I can post them throughout the week. I like the other areas of content creation as well, where it's like dealing with brands, writing manuscripts, editing, doing what I did at the office yesterday, attending these events. I like to be varied, so I like having those days where it's like just content, and then those days where it's just writing manuscripts, and those days where it's just planning ahead. So that's basically it. I have this really awkward pimple like right in between my eyebrows. It looks very funny, but whatever, I don't care. Okay, that's it, and let's do some voiceovers. So I like to create my voiceovers in my bed, and you're gonna think this is really weird, but the reason for it is actually very good. I don't have a fancy microphone, I probably should get one, but I haven't. I have my phone, which I actually think provides a very good voiceover recordings. But what's really important if you're making voiceovers is that you are in a room that is protected with like fabric. My living room has wood floors and wood walls all around, but my bedroom, however, has pillows, blankets, that's really good to protect your voice from bouncing off the walls and like echo. It provides a really good sound that your phone then can record. I have my manuscripts on Notion. Here we go. <laughs> my first ever, I brought my friend Veronica and we made this month and we took some serious steps with like the heavy laptop stuff did. I think I do my Norwegian ones better than my English one. I don't know why, I think it's just easier to talk Norwegian on like voice record. I don't mess up any words. I think also with English It's like some words can be quite clicky, especially with the accent that I have You can hear like clicks in my voice And so I need to do it all over again because people keep complaining about the clicks in my voice that they found really annoying Yeah So when I film, I film on my phone, but what I like to do is I like to do airplay from my phone to my computer so I can see what I'm filming because I film with 0.5x. It's loading. Now I can see on my computer what I'm recording. Quite a little hack if you're into content creation. I just did my little unboxing and I love how the coffee table turned out. We got it almost like custom made by a girl and her boyfriend in France. They have like a set of designs and you can custom like how tall you want it, what color you want it. And I'm gonna post this short like unboxing video on all my short video platforms. So I just finished filming three videos and editing three videos. I have one video left to edit, but I felt really, really hungry. So I decided to go out. Today it's freezing. I don't know how to dress these days because like I go outside, it's 20 degrees. I go out the next day, it's like five degrees. But uh, <laughs> I'm going out to eat. I'm also picking up some food because I'm having some friends over. Tonight I invited four of my girlfriends and I'm gonna cook for all of them. So it should be fun. <laughs> We're doing tapas because I literally do not have enough space on my dining table to fit like five people. So we're doing some tapas. I'm getting some carrots, cucumbers, meatballs that I'm gonna cook up and some other food that we'll find at the store. Being a full-time creator can definitely get a bit lonely, especially when like I'm home all the time. Like you don't really see anyone. You just stay at home, create videos and edit them and post them and it's, that's really it. So I really try to like have my friends over, go to my friends for dinner as much as I can. Also like really push myself to go out to the events that I get um, invited to as a creator, which is something that's very new to me this year. I wasn't actually invited to any of these events before. Like I started doing this full time, which I'm very thankful for. But yeah, like that's something I didn't really expect because I always went to uni or high school and I had social stuff that I just kind of took for granted see your friends on a daily basis in class at lectures whatever like working from home creating videos you really have to push yourself to make sure that you stay social and talk to people it looks so good from Clara made for cats 
sus. I'm so excited to try them. How was it? Yeah. 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 Mm. I really love chicken breast because they're with like chicken.